God bless you, God bless you, and God bless you one more time. Rev Eddie here. Hey, there's all warriors for Jesus. Who sold out for Jesus? Come on, warriors. What a special podcast we have in store for us today. We got a special guest. You act like we don't have a special guest. I said, we got a special guest that the Lord hand-delivered to us today. Let me introduce to some, present to other, Captain Haynes. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, Rev. Eddie. Uh, It's good to be with you. Yes, and so good to finally have you back in our arms. What has God been doing in your life? You got a word for us? Well, you know, all he does is bless folks. And, and I, I usually keep my cup uh, wide open. So yeah. Blesses it and it just runs over. Oh. On others. So I do I do have a word that I would like to share. Come on. It's a, it's a brief word, uh, but uh, it's, you know, you, you got me on here and I'm so, uh, so happy that you did. Uh, I didn't really prepare anything. So this is going to be extemporaneous. But you know the Holy Spirit, he he invented uh, extemporaneous. And for people who may not know what that that author word means, right there, it means something that that you say that you haven't prepared. You know, it's not a prepared speech. Yeah. So when we speak extemporaneously, we're speaking in a manner that uh, you know we just depend completely on the Holy Spirit and not on ourselves at all. You know, that's what Paul said that he did. That's and, right. Uh, that's what. Uh, that's what Wiggins and Haynes, that's what we do. So, <laughs> yes. and, and, Jesus, and Jesus did the same thing. You know, Jesus, Paul got his from Jesus. That's and right. We got ours from the Bible, which is Jesus and Paul and the Holy Spirit and the Father. So, yeah. man, we're cooking over here. We're, oh, we're come cooking. on, come on, come on, come on. So, Glory be to God. Well, well, I, I just, I, it's not coming to me where this scripture is, but I know it's in the Bible. And, uh, you know, uh, that's one of the things that, that people, uh, have a big question about, you know, I've, I've, uh, I've spoken in a lot of churches. I've, I've pastored, uh, uh, as a senior pastor for seven years. Yeah. Uh, that time. But, uh, uh, you know, one of the things that people say, well, I, I know it, I know it's in there, but I don't know where to find it at. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, as long as you know it's in there and and you you saying what it says, then you 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 were Jesus because you remember when Jesus went into the to the uh, the uh, synagogue, which was his custom. He went into the synagogue, and uh, they handed him the Bible. It was actually a scroll. They handed it to him, and then it says when he found the place. Yes, it's Luke four and he, eighteen. Luke four eighteen. See yeah. That? And, and Come was, on, see. He was, reading, he was reading from Isaiah sixty one. Yes. And, and yes, one, he was. Which was talking about himself. Yeah. And you know they got they got mad at him. <laughs> they got mad. They wanted to stone him. <laughs> okay. They wanted to stone him. Yeah. You know that, that, did they have stones in the church? I'm yeah. telling you. They got them today. <laughs> Maybe they didn't then. <laughs> okay. But they sure got them now because they tossed them to me because I'm bringing this truth. They don't want to hear this truth. But, yeah, that was Luke 4 and 18. Luke 4 and 18. He was reading from Isaiah. And he's, after he read it, he, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel. That's the right. Poor. You know, and, and he goes on through there. But he was quoting, actually, he was reading from Isaiah one, 61. Yeah, 61, so, 1 through 3, correct. 61, 1 through 3. See, you a Bible scholar, man. You, you, yeah. you, 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 you one of them theolog heads, I call them. I mean, yeah. theologians. You're right. Theologians. Yeah, no, I'm not. But that's deliverance. Because without the anointing, without the anointing, how do you heal the broken heart? How do you set the oh, captives man. free? How do the blind see without the power of God and that yoke breaking, stronghold tearing down, chain ripping anointing of God? <laughs> you see? Absolutely. Yeah. You got so, to have 
This is in my bloodstream. This is what makes my heart beat, Captain. Luke 4 and 18, Isaiah 61, 1 through 3, because that's the power. And I've been preaching for years, 20 years now. We're in our 20th year, Cap. And I've been telling them that it's the anointing that breaks the yokes. But see, you got to preach this word. You preach the gospel, signs, miracles, and wonders will follow. We're going in the churches. They ain't got no power. Where's the power of God? But they refuse to preach. They're not preaching to get folks into heaven. Oh, they preaching some, but it's to make that them car a, payments that and that a, jet payment and that yacht payment and that mansion payment. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> not preaching for souls, but you preach the gospel. You preach this exactly. good news, and God will anoint you. You see, you shouldn't be in that pulpit without an anointing. If there's no signs, no. miracles, and wonders, why are you in that pulpit? And this is the heart of that. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released. I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. That the blind will see, and the oppressed will be set free. And that the time of the Lord's favor has come. Glory. Yes, sir. <laughs> Be to God. Yes, I got excited. <laughs> which, which, which leads me, that wasn't even the scripture that I wanted to share. The one oh. I wanted to share. But but everything that you said lines right up with what it is that I was going to bring up. Okay. And that is, is that Jesus said, the things that I do shall you do and greater. Oh, come on now. But without that power that you just spoke of, without the anointing, you can't do what Jesus did. You can't come Jesus, close. <laughs> come on here. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. So, so uh, I, I like I said, I can't, it, it's not coming to me, and I don't have my Bible with me right now where I can, and, and uh, look <coughs> it up. Yeah. But I know it's, but I know it's in there. Yes, you know, it it's is. Like a, it's like a cake. When you bake a cake, you know. When you taste it, you know there's some sugar in there. Yeah. You may not, you may not know how much sugar. Right. You know you, you but 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 it's in there. It's in and that's there. That's the way the that's the way the Bible is. Yeah. That's the way the Bible is. Everything we need is in everything we God's need Word. Is in there, right? And what do we say every podcast? Read your word. Read your word. Read your word. The power <laughs> is in the word. <laughs> it's in the word of God. Man. Yeah, so, so you got a testimony, uh, though. I do, I do, and so do you. I've heard yours, I've read yours, and yeah, read mine. And, yeah, uh, I, you know, I, I've, uh, I appreciate you you allowing me to just to uh, say a few words on my on my second book. Yes, second book of miracles. And this, and, I'm going to show uh, it to him right now. Yeah, there it is, the second book of miracles, Ralph the E. Haynes. Now, see, he don't let everybody call him Cap. So you got to know him and be personal with him. Only the ex-fire uh, uh, personnel, only those who love him, that will embrace him, the paramedic, Sarah, <laughs> they call him Cap. We're not allowed to call him Cap. Well, see, we kind of force that issue because we love. We love him. He's a brother in Christ. He's a fellow pastor, a fellow warrior on this battlefield for souls. So we show our love and we'll call him Captain Hill. He'll work his eyes and his eyebrows will go up. But this is his book. Man, look at that guy. Look at that guy on the back right there. He uh, kind of looks like me. Oh, let me put that so you guys can see that. You see that? Look at that pretty man of God. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never been called pretty. I've never been called pretty before. <laughs> that's a pretty man. I said that's a pretty man of God. <laughs> okay? His wife knew oh, it. She Lord. ain't letting him go. <laughs> okay? Oh, oh, praise God. Man, we coming up on 41 years, man. 41 years? September, September the 10th, man. We got married. And, uh, and uh, it was such a blessing. 
and it's in the first book how uh, we met you know the Lord showed me it was her and uh, and uh, what a blessing it was here's you know, the first book y'all so you can sister. see it he made reference to it and this is the book of miracles what I just showed you was the second book of miracles now imagine being a firefighter a captain you got folks underneath you and they want to go home and see their wives and kids tonight you're responsible for a lot of lives i love how our first podcast went they get the call at the station and cap said when when that key goes in there at ignition and we turn it your day just got better <laughs> that's right that's right yeah we, we come to the the fire department when we respond the fire department paramedics and uh you know they call us first responders but uh i, I without getting on my soapbox too too much uh i've never seen the first responder department <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah and, and if you told somebody who was in emergency, hey, go to the first responder station. Where is that? What's that? <laughs> he wouldn't know where to go. <laughs> he wouldn't know where to go, man. The media just, I don't know who came up with that, but uh, uh, don't get me started on that. Man. Yeah, okay. But, you know, we are, fi we are firefighters. Yeah. And that's the thing about being a firefighter is that when there's a fire, you want a firefighter. That's you don't right. want a first responder because the first responder can be anybody that gets there. But if they get there first and they don't have the proper training and equipment and and uh, the the uh, knowledge, skills, and ability to do what it is that firefighters do, yeah, then they might as well just stayed home. That's because right. Anybody can be a first responder because a first responder is the person that gets there first. Right. And it's just a term that we use. But I prefer the term firefighter. Yeah, you know, praise God. Day, before we had uh, female firefighters, you know, we were called firemen. Right. When I, when I came on the job, my dad said firemen. Right. right. To be inclusive with uh, other other uh, people, you know, women, uh, firefighters, we just adopted the name firefighter. I love we that. We're firefighters. That's right. And so we are not, in my, in my my humble opinion, we are not first responders. We are firefighters. Because I love it. And I'll call you this. what if you, you are. Fire, if you got a fire up on the upper stories of a high-rise building, you know, ain't many people going to want to go up there. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Because when they're running out, we're running in. Yes. Yeah. And so that's what that's what this these two books are about. You know, they're about my career as a firefighter for uh, over forty years. Wow! And it's all of the miracles. Well, it's not all of them, but it's most of the miracles that I saw during my career. Yeah. You know, people being raised from the dead. You know, people uh, being trapped inside of fires and and think they're think they're dead to get them outside. And uh, get, I'm not going to spoil the book, but you get stuck with a needle, and the guy raises up, yeah, and yeah, and he starts coughing out all of this black nasty stuff, yeah, you know, and he's alive, yes, and thank you, Lord, to the hospital, and then six or eight months later, he walks into your station, and and shakes your hand and thanks you for saving his life, yeah. These are the kind of uh, things that are in this book, you know, and yeah, in these in these books. And um, there's a lot of miracles of healing and deliverance. But yeah. like you said in our opening there, Rev, there's uh, and you jump in here anytime you want to. I know we're on a podcast, but uh, but there's a lot of uh, miracles in these two books that mimic. Uh, that's not a real good word. That uh, imitate. Yeah. They imitate. They look just like what Jesus did. Yeah. You know, I, I have one miracle in there that it's just really, really hard to believe. But uh, uh, Jesus actually multiplied the food at a potluck at our church. Yeah. And, and I should have counted the people, but uh, 
you know, there was a, there was way more people than we had food. Yeah. And people took it was just like in the Bible. People took food home with them. Right. You know, it wasn't it wasn't four thousand or five thousand like Jesus did. Right. Uh, we didn't have that many in our church, but you know, it, it, you know, to have a pan of cornbread, and most of it has been cut out of it, and then uh, a nine by thirteen casserole that my wife made personally. Yeah. And uh, and uh, four or five uh, chicken legs, fried chicken legs, <laughs> and, a, and a and a thing of potato salad. With most of it was gone. It was a Costco-sized potato salad container. Yeah, it was only just a little bit in the bottom of it. But my wife made plate after plate after plate. After we prayed and asked the Lord and and told him, you know, the Lord knew what He was doing because uh, we we served in a community that only had like uh, poor people in it. It was the, it, to be very frank with you. It was the ghetto. Yeah, uh, in, in the right in the in the middle of San Diego, right. Uh, we call it uh, Central City or Center City. Uh, it's City Heights is the area. Got and it. Man, it's just a bunch of poor people. And what we would do is we would feed the poor. That's one of the things Jesus told us to do. Told us to do, ain't it? He, he, he told said, us to do said, that, Cap. Yeah. Said, feed them. He said, "You give them something to eat." They, 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 they was. You know, people was hungry and everything. They'd been out there with him three days. That's he right. Said, uh, he said, there, there's not enough food here. And uh, and uh, one of the disciples said, well, we got a, a little boy here. He brought his lunch. <laughs> yeah. The only one that had any sense. Yeah. Uh, his, name was, his name was Eddie Wiggins. And, and he, and, <laughs> yeah. And, and he had he said, Eddie, bring your lunch over here. I got a happy he meal. Lunch over there. And he gave yeah. the lunch to Jesus. He said, bring it here to me. Yeah. And he took the bread out of there. He had a. He had a sandwich in there, a fish sandwich. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, <laughs> and look what the, the Lord. And blessed, he blessed it, didn't he? He yep. blessed it. And it's not how much you have to offer the Lord. It's the right. fact that you're willing to offer the Lord. He can take the little that we do have, multiply yes. it, stretch it, okay, and make it do more than enough. Don't forget, each of those disciples had some thinking to do as they carried the weight of a basket of leftovers on their <laughs> shoulder. Okay? I never thought about that. They well, had something to think about. What just happened? Okay? What's on my shoulder is leftover. They're all burping in it full. Okay? <laughs> Done ate their full I got the leftovers, and it's a burden on my sh What just happened? Because the oh, little man. Happy Meal that Eddie gave, little Eddie gave, it wasn't all this. <laughs> was, it, was it a Happy Meal? <laughs> yeah, it was a Happy Meal with a toy. It made, I guess they was happy after they had some food after they ate it. Huh? Yes, so it praise first, God. That was the first Happy Meal. And look at that. The Lord did that with you. Yes, he did, and uh, I tell you, I tell you, Rev, some of these things, man, it's just, it's just hard to believe, you know. But if it wasn't hard to believe, how would it be called a miracle? That's right. Miracles, miracles are things. I, I like to get a definition of a miracle is something that God does, and He doesn't take any credit for it. It just, it just happens. Yeah. But, but and uh, things man can't do. Exactly. Exactly. Things are only how can we prepare for. How can we prepare for for uh, uh, an amount of people that we don't even know how many people are going to come to the church? Right. You know, for a potluck. Okay, right. A little sixty, a little sixty uh, member church with most of them kids. Yeah. You know, and uh, an offering is going to be about twenty five dollars, maybe. Maybe. And, um, yeah. And you know, we didn't we didn't have no money to feed that amount of people, but God did. See, and uh, glory it's, be to it's, God. It's, inter it's interesting that uh, when I prayed, when I prayed for that food that we had, I saw what we had. I looked at the people. I saw what we had. I looked at the people, and I said, Lord, I just said, Lord, this ain't enough food. Right. And and right. I, 
Riff, I had zero faith. Yeah. My yeah. Faith, I, I didn't have no faith. I didn't have no faith. I, I wasn't thinking about the Word of God. I should have been thinking about the Word of God. I was the pastor, the, the senior pastor. Right. But I just said, Lord, this ain't enough food. And I said, if you will, I know you can, but if you will, yeah. just make it so everybody can just get a little bit. Right. So that nobody will be turned away. That was my prayer. Yeah. And my wife started dipping this casserole out. Rev, and she said as she dipped it out, she saw it. The food was just coming back in there. Wow. Okay. Just, just, dipping, just dipping it out. Yeah. And he he had to multiply the plates. Right. Because he knows how many people were there. He knows everything. Right. And he multiplied the forks and the spoons. Oh, and, come on. And the chicken bones. Right, and, right. Uh, that's when she realized that it was a miracle. But this little boy that was sitting right beside me, all this is in the book. Yeah. The first book. Right. This little boy, he, he looked at it. This little bitty boy, maybe no more than three or four years old, he recognized it a miracle. And you know what he said? What? He said, Packer prayed. He said he what? Like that. He couldn't even say. He couldn't even say pastor. He called me Packer. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. He, he he called me Packer. Uh huh. Packer right there. And uh, he said Packer prayed. And I said, Oh no, oh no, don't give don't give Packer the credit right here. <laughs> right, you know, right. God right here. And then that's when we all realized that it was a miracle. Wow. The next day I had to clean up the whole area. We was all outside eating. The church was in an apartment complex and there's chicken bones all over the place. Yeah. People were just eating the chicken and just throwing the bones off. And I had to clean all of that up. And I said, <laughs> yeah. Man, oh man. If I would have had a cell phone, I would have took a picture of it. Yeah. And and just but my children now are adult children. And they were they were six, eight, and ten years old when we when that miracle happened. And now I won't tell you what my girls are, but they're my my, my they're in their thirties and forties. I'll put it like that. Okay. And they still remember that miracle. But see, see that's, that's the powerful. important thing that you were talking about in your opening. You know, you don't do those things unless you have God's anointing. That's right. You know? That's right. Because the Spirit of the Lord was on me. Yeah. He's on me. Yeah. He's on you. Right? Yeah. He's, he's on you. He's on us. Yeah. And he allows us to do, though he said, these things that I do, so you do, and greater. Yeah. So since Jesus said that, think of the thousands and thousands and millions of people that have been fed by the things that Jesus provided and the example that he set for us all of during that time. Thank you, man, Jesus. Oh man, just, Thank you, Jesus. Exactly. Yeah. And Hallelujah. He, raised the dead. he <laughs> said, Rev, he said, my wife, I, I told my wife, I said, you know, I, I, I believe I can walk on water. Uh-huh. I believe, I believe I can. Yeah. If Jesus hadn't told me to do it. If he told me to do it, I would, man, I would step out on faith. Right. Right. Because he said, the things that I do, yeah. the things that you saw me do, you were here. You, uh, you know, John said it. He said, that which was from the beginning, which we have seen with our eyes, which yeah. we have handled with our hands, which yeah. we have touched, mm. and we've heard him. We ate with him. I laid my head on his, on his breast yeah. when he, he was at the Last Supper. Yeah. And, and I heard him speak, and we saw him walk on water. We saw him spit on the ground and make a pharmaceutical salve and put it on a man's eyes. We saw it with our eyes. Yeah. And Jesus said, those things that you saw me do. Yeah. He said, you're going to do it. Right. And greater. And greater. And greater shall you do. Yeah. And I just take him at his, just like you, Rev, I just take him at his word. That's right. He said, I'm silly enough to believe said. everything in this Bible. <laughs> okay. I'm dumb, I'm dumb enough. <laughs> yeah. To believe it. To believe it. And there's my, there's my uh, alarm right there going. Let me turn that off right there. Okay. Uh, Can you take I your phone out to the grill and keep going? Because you had a miracle <laughs> you wanted to share. 
I can do it. I can let it go a little bit longer. Uh-uh, so, uh, don't really you burn up that off. food and blame it on me now. Come on I now. To fall off the, I want it to fall off the bone. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't like the... I don't like uh, medium well ribs. I like my ribs falling off the bone. I Me like too. Well done, Tender you know, and not, juicy. I like my steak. I don't like my steaks like that. Right. I don't right. like my steaks like that, but I like my ribs. Yeah. So, uh, but I just appreciate you allowing me to just to share a little bit with your listeners. Yeah. And uh, just in, encourage them to, uh, like you said, read your Bible. Read, read your read word. Your yeah. Read it. Well, we talked about this before. Faith comes by hearing. Yeah. What you listening to? <laughs> okay. Because you got to be hearing this word of God to increase that faith. You know? Bible. Read, but read it out loud so that you can hear it. Right. You know, don't, re don't read silently. Right. Read out loud so you can hear it. And as you read it out loud and hear it, your faith is going to be built. That's because right. Because faith... Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing and hearing about, you know, Romans, that's Romans 10, uh, 10, 9 and 10. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah. And so that's yeah. what, that's what we teach and preach, man, is reading, you know, it's like five fingers on your hand. You know, you read the Bible, you study the Bible, you meditate on the Bible, you memorize the Bible, yeah. and then you hear the Bible. Right, and those things will allow you. To, if you got those five going in your life, those will allow you to get a grip on the Word of God. Yeah. But if you have one missing, then you're not going to have a good grip on the Word of God. If you if you're not hearing the Word, then that means you only have four fingers that are holding it, holding on to that Word. Right. And somebody that has a has a you know the enemy, he can come in and he can snatch that Word. Yeah. Out of your hand. You don't have because a good grip. Yeah. You don't have a good grip. But to have a good grip, you got to have those five things. Praise God. And there's a sixth Reading, finger. Studying, hearing. That's right. There's a sixth and, finger. Um, what is it? There's a sixth one? Uh huh. So it, there's a deformation that happens, a transformation that happens because now you can live this word, That's become right. a walking right. gospel. Amen. Right. It's got to be real to you. It can't just be that you can recite it and then you're living like a devil all week long. That, that's not the purpose of this word. This word is right. to become one with. We become one with it. We're living this. It is our life. It is our bloodstream. It is our heartbeat. Okay? If you cut us, we bleed the word. Come on, somebody. That's right. Amen. Right. Yeah. When you said the six, when you said the six figure, <laughs> uh, I thought about that giant. Yeah. He was one of Goliath's brothers. He had and six the Bible fingers. Said he had six fingers on each hand, and he had six toes on each foot. That's right. Well, he grabbed hold of you. You gonna have a tough time <laughs> getting away. <laughs> I think that's why David had five stones. <laughs> he only needed one yeah. for Goliath, but that boy got brothers, don't he? <laughs> I know he got some brothers. Yeah, they might be bad. I always wonder, always wonder about that. Why did he pick up five smooth stones? Because Goliath had four brothers. <laughs> Goliath had four brothers. <laughs> Possibly. When, he, when Goliath hit the ground, everybody ran. Yeah, yeah. Praise what a, God. What a blessing. So your wife is doing good. We've been praying for you and Sarah, your ministries. Anything else you yep. want to share with us? The Lord has blessed us really well, and we're we're blessed. And uh, we've made a complete recovery. And uh, it's oh, just, thank you, you know, Jesus. Rev, Rev, you know this. Sometimes you just have to go through. Yeah, you know? it's the going you know, through. You know, yeah. You know the things in the Bible. The things in the Bible. I love it quote this scripture it says it says uh these things are written for our examples yeah it's in uh it's in the book of corinthians mm. and you know in the bible uh you know there's a lot of there's a lot of examples because you know the book you know it's it's uh 1700 chapters or something like that you know uh-huh i have 
wasn't counting them, but I've yeah. been told it. That's how many it is. But but I know I know where to find it at in there. Yeah, I've been down through there a few times. Right. But but the uh, the things that are written in the Bible were written for our example. The King, the King James call it in samples. And mm. it's the same thing, examples. But uh -huh. we know that there's good examples and there's bad examples. Yeah. You know, you're not you're not gonna you you're not gonna uh uh commit adultery because you saw David do it with Bathsheba. You yeah. read it in there that David committed adultery. Well, David was one of the greatest men in, in the in the world in in the whole Bible and yeah. he lived one of the greatest. But a heart a man after like God. You and I are, mm -hmm. you know, and so we're not gonna do that. That's a bad example. Right. And so but Jesus, we're talking about the things that Jesus said to do, you know, rate, go into all the world, preach the gospel, to every That's creature, right. baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, That's teaching right. them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I'm going to be with you always. Yeah. Even until the end of the age. Until the so end of the those age. Those examples that are in there, Jesus anoints us and gives us power yeah. so that we can do exactly what he said what he did and what we what he said we could do what he because created that was, that was us to do to yeah yes. thank you cap that was so wonderful so beautiful you're going to come back with it? absolutely hey, good you know, we got to do this we got to do this i just got to finish finish this this uh barbecue go barbecue get back to here. your barbecue the kids <laughs> Are hungry. I got a hundred kids over here, so you might have to do some more <laughs> praying. But yes, you get back to the barbecue. Thank you for coming on with us today and blessing us today. We refuse to stop praying for you and Sarah, your families, your ministries, all you're doing for Christ's kingdom. And we look forward to the next time you want to come in with us. Anytime. Yes, sir. This this is Thank that you, big red machine. The door ain't locked. You come in anytime. Stick your key in Man, and I let the Lord you use you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And what time is your what time do you normally have your podcast? Yeah. Listen in. Yeah, about that. He just asked what time do we normally <laughs> have our podcast? When I turn on this machine and the Lord turns me loose, it, it don't have nothing to do with time. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes well, I can just call you up. You can, I can just call you up and say, "Hey, Rev, I got a word from the Lord right here. I want to share with your listeners." Yeah. And yeah. We can do it like that. And if I'm in a podcast when you call, I'll just yes. you'll already be on the board, and you can deliver it right away. Generally, at the latest, we start about two. We've been known uh -huh. to start at three. I try to get on by eleven. 12 o'clock, amen? Yeah. Uh-huh. So 11, 12 o'clock, you can pretty much bet we're in a podcast. Now, every day is different. Sometimes I get out of bed at 5, 6 in the morning, and it's a battlefield. People texting, and we got to pray, and we got to talk. Yeah. And somebody else will call, and we got to talk. And there's a whole lot going on that happened through the night that we're ministering to, and that could determine when we start. Amen? I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it's Amen. all in the Lord's hand. <laughs> well, what a blessing it is, man. But Thank we're on seven allowing. days a week. We refuse to stop. Nobody told, Somebody told me the other day we're over 600 videos now. Amen? Wow. Yeah. Wow. We just refuse to stop. We're going to preach and we're going to teach this word. We're going to knock down the lies that are being told by religions and other entities that are not of this word, that are not of this truth, that are not of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we're just going through verse by verse. We did the whole book of Revelation, word by word, verse by verse. We went wow. back to Acts because time's up. We're in the last days. What do we need that the early church who was being persecuted? We're going, to, the church ends in persecution, just like it began. What did they have we need to get through these last days? You see, and we never Amen. stopped. We did a book of Acts, all the epistles of Paul, 
We went through uh, uh, Peter and James, Hebrews, and now we're in the first John. <laughs> Amen. And uh, wow. it is lit on fire. We refuse to stop. We're just going to keep bringing this word that we can be all that Christ created us to be. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, thank you again for allowing me to and come on and promote. Yes. The, um, yeah. The, 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 the book of miracles. Yes. The second book of miracles and people can get it on Amazon. Thank you. Or you can, you can, uh, uh, write me a letter or whatever. Yeah, I will send you one. Or know, contact me and I'll put you in touch. Yeah, yeah, they can't. Maybe they can't uh, afford it or whatever like that. I give books away because they're not my books. Right. <laughs> my name is just on there. <laughs> right. It's God, right. It's God's books. God's books. Uh, yeah. I would just, I would just delight in uh, as many people as possible to to read these books because it's all for the glory of God. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for that, Cap. So go on Amazon, and if you can't afford it, reach out to me. I'll get you in touch with Cap. He'll get you a book. And I'm telling That's you, right. it's exciting. It's like riding in the fire truck yourself, watching these professionals put their lives on the line, undoing the work of Satan. He uses fire and destruction and explosions. I will never forget you saying that, man. That just touched me, and it still touches me. Yes. Because we're there to undo what Satan is still kill and destroy. See, you know, yes. That's what, fire, that's what fire does. That's what traffic accidents do. And, and, yeah. You know, and death and destruction. And yes. We're there to undo it. To undo the work of the enemy never, that God's people will, will be blessed and have life. Yeah. See, that was that was flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you, Pastor. <laughs> I know. Holy Ghost did. <laughs> That's the Holy Ghost. Right. Holy Ghost. When I first met you, we were ministering to firefighters, law enforcement, paramedic, service people, yep. dealing with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. That's right. Remember? Yeah. I do, man. I right. Do yep. That yep. whole year and a half, I was down near San Diego and got the that helped me so pleasure much, of meeting I, you and I, Sarah. Yeah. I suffered from it too, man. I, I, I've seen things that. Uh, in fact, I'm on my. I'm writing my third book right now, Riff. Oh, uh, come on! Kind of a spoiler alert, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be called. Uh, some of my worst 911 calls. Oh, nice. And man, it is not for the faint of heart. Right. It's going to be a, a warning before you read this thing because I'm going to take us on scene and you're going to be able to just experience the things that I saw, me and my crew saw. I know. The, the smells and the horrible uh pain that the, you won't be able to feel the pain that a lot of these people are in but uh man oh man what a book this is going to be praise and, uh, god we was, can't wait this might be the blockbuster that i've really been uh seeking god about man it's, it's, yeah i wanted to just it's it's, it's a good one thank it's you fact, i got it all outlined i'm just i'm just writing it now man. yeah just, yeah Pour it out. But some of the things bring back just terrible, terrible memories. I know. I mean, terrible. The, because, you know, I've told you before, there's some things that you just can't unsee. Right. You know, it's, it's like ringing a bell. Once you ring a bell, yeah. you can't unring the bell. That's right. That's rev, right. Rev. It's, like tooth, it's like toothpaste. When you squeeze the toothpaste out of the, tooth, out of the, out of the tube, you can't yeah. put it back in. You sure That's can. That's the way it is. You I know, have you tried. <laughs> you can't do it. It won't happen. You know? It won't happen. That's the way it is with that PTSD, man. And, I and know. seeing these, you know, these, you know, little children burn beyond recognition and, mm -hmm. you know, all kind of stuff. You, yeah. You can't unsee that. No. You can't. And how do you sleep at night? Yeah. You know, the, you, it takes the Holy Spirit yeah. to, uh, to heal those wounds like that, man. I call them soul wounds. It wounds your soul. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, that's going to be the third book. Praise and, God. Uh, but there's going to be some miracles in that one, too. Yeah, I know there you is. Know? You, your you life is a miracle. Yeah, your life is a man, miracle. I love, I love the way the Lord put this together, man. I hope that 
this gets to a lot of people, I think it would help a lot of people. Come on. Um, to hear <laughs> what you and I have just been discussing here today. Yeah. Just this brief amount of time. Right. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. For thank you, me. Captain really Haynes. We love you. God bless you. God bless your wife, your children, your life, your ministry. Everywhere you go, be blessed in Jesus' you, precious and mighty yeah. name. <laughs> Rip, when this drops, when this drops, shoot me a text or give me a call or something to let me know. And I'm going to put it uh, on my. Uh, Good. Uh, my. Uh, uh, you know, my, my uh, Facebooks and, you know, all yeah. the, what do they call them? Platforms. I'll put them up on right. the platform. I'll be and putting so it up on Facebook and YouTube for all of our Facebook and YouTube families. And it'll Great. be up in probably, it's only 40 minutes long. It should post within 10 or 15 minutes on my Facebook page. And then it'll be up on my YouTube as well, yes. my YouTube channel, Rev Eddie Wiggins. Okay, now on Facebook, Rev Eddie is one word, no space, no dash, right. no dots, no periods. And then on YouTube, I believe there's a dot behind the Rev, Rev Eddie Wiggins. Okay. Amen. Would you mind if I give my, if I give my uh, website? You, so please. Go there. Please. It's, it's, uh, it's the same, it must be my whole name as one, RalphEHaines.com. Ralph E. Haynes.com and you spell Haynes H A Y N E S. That's right. Amen. Ralph, Ralph e. com, and it'll take you to the Amazon page. It'll take you to both books. And uh, and uh, give me a shout out, somebody. Help a brother out over there. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you are. It. You are so welcome, and like I said, the door always open for our Captain Haynes. Amen? Well, I'm going to have to come back through this door again, man. <laughs> yes, and more I'm often. Let you go. It's been over a year, more often. Okay, okay, you family, you come in anytime. Praise God. Absolutely. Okay. And, you know, I'll, 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 I'll end with this. You know, if you get to a door and the door is closed, yeah, just wait in, just wait outside or wait in the hallway wherever you're at. Yeah, and God will open another one for you. Yes, He will. You Did can you praise Him in the morning. You can praise Him yes. at noontime. You can praise Him in the evening. That means you can praise Him all the time. If you can praise Him in the good times and praise Him in the bad bad times, you can praise Him all the time. And cause the devil to lose his mind. Now, if you're in the hallway. <laughs> Trying to get through that door. Praise him in the hallway till he opens that door. Glory, <laughs> glory, <laughs> glory be to God. <laughs> That's right. Praise yeah. him while you're waiting. Praise him. Praise him. Yeah. Yeah. Praise makes the walls come down. Praise him. Man. There's power ask, in ask, our ask praise. Them folks, ask them folks in Jericho. That's right. Because that's all they that's all they did was walk around the wall and then they shouted and praised the Lord. That's right. The wall fell down flat. Had and the I musicians the running out front. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man. I could go on and on and on, man. You know, we both love the word of God, man. We do. And uh, you you excite me by your excitement for the word and how much you love the word and how much you love the Lord. And uh it's just it's contagious. Yes, and you do the same for me. And to be alongside of you, shoulder to shoulder with you, a warrior for Christ who fought fires, fought death off from people's lives, it's an honor to be shoulder to shoulder with you Thank on you this so battlefield much. for souls. It really is. Thank Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Yeah. yeah. What was that expression? We got to get the red thing there to get the wet stuff on. You know that. Yeah, you got you got to put the, the big red. Big red's got to come in there. Uh -huh. And then uh, things just going to start getting better as soon as we get there. Yeah. They put the wet Whatever stuff called, on the red stuff. In San Diego, <laughs> yeah. in San Diego we, we can be anywhere there in six minutes. See? So we put the... 
we put the red stuff on the red stuff. Right, right. Praise and if you God. See something, just like they said, if you see something, say something. That's right. Praise God. And make sure make sure your smoke detectors work inside your house. Because, man, smoke detectors save lives. Yes, I've they seen, do. I've talked to people that said, Captain, if my smoke detector had to go off, I don't know if I'd have woke up and been able to call you. That's and right. I, and I tell you, you wouldn't have. Because, Rev, your nose is the first thing that goes to sleep. When you go to sleep, yeah, the first thing that goes to sleep is your nose. Really? Yes. You can't smell things while you're asleep. Oh. Because your nose... Your nose goes to sleep. Ah, okay. All of your senses, all of your senses go to sleep. Okay, gotcha. And so you don't even know the house is on fire. You don't know it, man. You don't know it. That's why people come and bang on people's doors and yeah, try to tell them to get out, get R out. Right, right. And then I tell them, once you get out, stay out. Yes. Get out, stay out. This is turning into a, a uh, 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 fire safety uh, event right here, right now. But right. somebody might need to hear that. Get that's out right. Stay out. Don't go back in. That's there right. Nothing in your house that's worth you going back in. Not even your family, because if you go back in, that smoke can kill you. Gotcha. And that's what that's where we come in at. You right. Get out. Call us. We come and we go right in and get. Every place is searched three yeah. times. You got a primary search, you got a secondary search, and then you got a, a another search after it's been searched twice. We have a different third crew go back in and we search again to make sure that everybody is out. Even yeah. if we get there, we say, is everybody out of the house? Yes, sir, everybody's out of the house. Okay. Yeah. And I say, Engine 17, let's search this place. Right. The fire is still coming out of the windows and doors, but we search the place. And we make sure that everybody is out of the house. That's our job. We're wow. We're there to get the fire out and put the fire out, but we're there to get the people out. Right. Save lives. Yeah. Fight fire and save lives. Yeah. Save lives and property. That's what we do. Praise so, God. Wow. I hope this barbecue ain't on fire out here. Yeah, you so go get, get to your barbecue. We're going to close out and get this baby because it's hot. We're going to get it up online right away. Amen. All thank right. you so much, you. Captain Ames. And thank You're each welcome. and every one of you for joining us today. And we'll see you tomorrow in our podcast as we come back into First John. And we will be picking up at, let me see. Oh, that's not First John. Tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off in First John. And I do believe we will pick up and verse 7, glory be to God. We'll see you glory tomorrow, y'all. Can I give a shout out to Sarah? Yes, yeah, Sarah, Sarah, our Sarah. paramedic. Sarah, Sarah, I want to just give a shout out to you, girl. I love you. Talk to you soon. <laughs> yeah, I love you both. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.